Hey everyone, it's Rick Carson, and today I want to talk about the Parallel Process Plugins. The Parallel Process Plugins were born out of the things that I tended to do on my console that were taking up either buses or extra channels. My console is only 24 channels wide, and sometimes real estate is an issue, especially when it comes to having things like the equalizer and compressor are available. If you're utilizing the monitor path, you really gotta start making decisions because if you're pulling up 48 channels on a 24 channel desk, you definitely don't have 48 equalizers. So utilizing them for something like this kinda got long in the tooth when I wanted to be able to do something else. The first one is based on a trick that I learned from a great engineer named Jason Livermore. You know, we spoke on the phone roughly you know, for 10 minutes, 10 years ago, and it was a life-changing phone conversation where he taught me this trick that some en engineers were doing on the SSL where they were really boosting a lot of high-end and a lot of mid-range, and they were going through and sending their kicks and snare drums to this process in parallel. And it was very interesting because it almost acts like an oral exciter, but it sounds very, very SSL-like when you do it. And I wanted to be able to capture that without utilizing a channel on my SSL and make it a little bit easier for everyone. So Parallel Process 2 is a recreation of that move. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you right now. We're gonna have our snare top. You know, pretty thick sounding snare, not a ton of high end. that definitely brought that to life. And you know, this is a little bit of an older sounding kick drum, but it's still gonna do exactly what we want and bring out a nice top on the kick drum. So let's go ahead and try that out. You know, and I think that that overall sounds wonderful. You know, the thing that I'm hearing now is that the drums in general, I feel like could use a little bit of a lift to them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and send all of my drums to a aux track, and I'm gonna put parallel three and four. Parallel three and four, can really be utilized on anything that has mid-range or that you want to cut through. It's subtler than the other two parallel process plugins, but it's really, really powerful in being able to just bring things forward in the mix in a very, very pleasing way. Parallel 3 and 4 is based around a golden pair of API 550s that I came across that I noticed were just a little bit different than all of the others, and we modeled a trick that involved boosting 8K and 10K on those EQs. So now our drums are living with the bass and the roads a little bit more. I feel like we can get our snare drum to sound just a little bit fatter though, and that is what Parallel 1 is absolutely wonderful for. Parallel 1 is based on a trick from Eric Valentine where he talked about synthesizing low end for snare drum. I actually used to do this trick with Metric Halo's channel strip. I thought it was wonderful, and I came up with a curve that worked for me very, very well, and we just decided to throw it in here, and then I didn't have to have two channels on the SSL to blend together. Very, very simple. So now let's go ahead and we are just going to bypass all of the MB plugins that are on the mix of the drums. We'll turn those back on. That's exactly what I'm looking for when I buy a tool. I spent maybe 30 seconds worth of actual work 
and I'm much happier with this raw sound, which is just drum microphones from the live room. The next thing that I want to do, though, is I'm going to pull up Parallel 3 and 4 on this, uh, this Rhodes, because I want to hear a little bit of more that Al Jarreau, some more fingers coming out of it. So let's go ahead and try that out. But it's the first time I feel like I could use a little bit less level so that I can push this even further into the house. So we're going to go and we're going to turn off all of the MB plugins that are just on the tracks. We still have the Sontech. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and turn off the Sontech as well. We're going to turn off all of the MB plugins on the mix. And here again, this is all of the plugins back on the mix. Mm -hmm. 